hello engineers hope you are doing well so far we have covered the sketcher which is uh, our 2d workbench in which uh, we were creating the sketch we were modifying the sketches even we have inspected our sketches and uh, resolved the issues as well now let us start with the part design we have discussed that we have to follow feature by feature or feature based uh, modeling technique we also have to use parametric modeling which we will be following by creating the sketches and applying the dimensions to that or constraints to that let us take a step towards part design of uh, katia for that i will go for start mechanical design part design now our focus will be on creating the parts how exactly we can create the parts what are the features available how we maintain the feature tree and how we can modify the parts part name i'll give part 1 hybrid design geometrical set ordered geometrical set i will keep these off these are not in use as of now i'll say okay now you can see i am in the part design environment in this part design environment i have some toolbars again sketch based to fill features dress of features sketcher toolbar reference elements transformation features apply material toolbar measure toolbar and then the common toolbars like your view toolbar like your tools toolbar these toolbars we will be using to create any feature what you need is a sketch so let us go and uh, quickly create a sketch i'll go for positioned sketch select the plane press okay here comes the sketcher environment i'll quickly create one simple sketch and make it fully constrained like this i'll be applying the dimensions geometrical constraints are already been applied like this and i'll say okay to this so i'm ready with my uh, sketch a sketch is uh, if you want you can check it a uh, sketch is iso constraints means fully constrained also it is a closed loop sketch so i can say that this particular sketch is ready for being converted into 3d i will exit from the sketcher environment and now i'm ready with the sketch now uh, starting with the sketch based features these features will allow us to add as well as remove the material name itself is saying sketch based features to apply these features we need minimum one sketch minimum one sketch will be required maximum for some of the features there can be many for some of the features maximum can be one starting with the sketch based features first we will see the feature named as pad you can see over here on the left sketch one is added in the feature tree now i will go for applying the feature say pad as soon as i'll select the pad the pad definition window will appear and this is this much so in this window i will have to define the definitions i will have to define the parameters for feature pad now to define the pad first thing that i need is a section or profile so as a section or as a profile i'll be selecting this sketch you can select it from here you can select it from here no issues i have selected now first limit of pad so you can see lim1 lim2 is written over here lim1 is uh, this particular direction on this side it will add the material lim2 
on that side it will add the material either side of the your sketch or sketched plane okay you can control or maintain the value from here as well say i want to it to be 20 so it will be added like this 20 mm in the first limit and remaining in the second limit now see the feature tree you have feature added under the feature you have a sketch available if i want to use the sketch or modify the sketch again i will double click on the sketch it will take me to the sketcher environment and i can make the modification okay it will be updated if i want to make the modifications in the definition of pad then i will double click on the pad say i want to modify the first limit to 100 and uh, second limit to be 0 so this is how it will look like like this okay then there are some options available if you don't want to define or if you want the both the limits to be same like 100 and second limit also to be 100 so total length will be 200 then you don't need to define these two limits again and again what you can do is select the first limit define it and go for mirrored extent it will automatically maintain the value you can see the second limit has been freezed now if you have given the value as say more than 100 then it will expand both the sides so now length is 135 on the one side total length will be 270 say ok like this it will work again modifying pad you can also go for thick option what does thick option do it will actually apply the thickness thickness to the sketched lines I'll go for thick option I'll select it now this thickness option will be on see this is now deactivated as soon as I select the thick option this will be activated thickness 1 is the inside thickness of your sketch thickness 2 will be outside thickness of your sketch say I'll increase the value of inside thickness say preview see this inside thickness of 13 mm is applied over here if I I want I can go for outside thickness as well so you can see preview hmm. this dotted line is showing the position of your sketch this is inside thickness this is outside thickness again if you want both the thickness values to be divided like both the side you want the equal thickness then you can go for neutral fiber select this so the value is 13 mm it is divided equally both the side 6.5 mm outside 6.5 mm inside and you can say ok to this this is how your pad feature works I'll turn off the thick option I'll say ok this is how it will work now similar to your pad feature you have another feature named as pocket check this window this is completely same as your pad the difference is when you will use pocket then it will remove the material and when you will use pad then it will add the material very quickly I'll just create a sketch a sketch now you have some options now you can select the planar face as well because you have planar face available so to maintain the dependency to maintain the parametric nature I will take this one as a reference now now this on this plane I will be working other things are same say I am creating a sketch uh, in the form of a circle having diameter of 30 mm ok see the sketch is created on the face now this sketch I will apply pocket select the sketch hmm again by default it has considered limit one like this side why because this is the only side where your material is available that's why it has taken this as limit one I'll say ok to this see the pad has been sorry pocket has been created 
why i have taken this face for creating the sketch just to maintain the dependency why if i'll make any changes in the pad definition then see your hole is automatically been updated or the pocket has already been updated this is what parametric modeling is it maintains its parameter its reference and this is the advantage of any of your cad tool i hope pad and pocket both the features are clear to you there are some options available in both for the limits i will be discussing these options later on